Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So finally I have time to sit down and talk to you guys about beauty stuff. Today I'm going to review a very exciting collection um, from Tarte. It's the Tarte Rainforest of the Sea collection. Sephora sent me this whole collection um, somewhere around uh, November, December last year but I haven't had time to do the review. So finally I thought I would do a review on the products today and give you my honest thoughts about it. So if you want to see my review and this makeup look created using the Tarte products, then keep on watching. Okay, so I've just cleansed my face with this cleansing gel from Tarte. And this cleansing gel can remove your makeup as well as all the impurities on your face and it feels really really smooth. So after cleansing, I'm going to hydrate my skin with the Tarte Drink of H2O Hydrating Boost Moisturizer. So it looks something like this and it looks like jelly and gel. So I'm just going to apply this all over my face to hydrate my skin before I apply my base makeup and I love how it makes my skin look so smooth and radiant okay so now that I have hydrate my skin I'm going to use the Tarte water foundation so there's only three shades and now I'm using the shade fair light sand to try whether it fits my skin tone or not and it says shake well before use so it comes with this applicator and it's like a pump applicator which you can pick up your foundation very easily and just pump it on the back of your hand. So um, I will just try two pumps first. And using the double-ended foundation brush, I'm going to pick up this product and just dab it all over my face. Okay. Um, I'm not sure how to use this but I'm just flipping this over and then buff the foundation into my skin. Focusing it on the forehead and then on my chin, jawline. I would say that this foundation has light to medium coverage because um, it feels very lightweight, but I can still see redness around my nose area. But it just feels like a second skin. Uh, so I would definitely recommend this foundation for those who have great skin and for those who didn't want to um, apply a lot of makeup on casual days. If you are a fan of full coverage foundation, I don't think you will enjoy this. So I want my skin to have a little bit of glow. I'm going to use this Radiance Drops and put it over my foundation. Ooh. Wow. And look at that. It just gives you that immediate radiance. So since the foundation cannot really cover my dark circles, I'm going to use the Tarte Shape Tape Concealer to hide my dark circles. Yes, this is very very terrible. Okay, so I've just done my brows because there isn't any brow product in the Tarte um, Rainforest series. So I just use my own brow products. I use, basically I use the Benefit Cabral Brow Gel and um, also the Urban Decay Brow Locks to do my brows. And right now, I'm going to use this highlighting eyeshadow palette in volume 3. Um, so it's an eyeshadow palette. Um, most of the shades are in glittery and shimmery form. It consists of a lot of earthy tones and brownish tones which is perfect for daily use. I have no idea what kind of look that I want to go for right now but I'm just going to go with the flow. Um, so I will start by applying Tiki all over my lids as a base. Also, oh, this is a matte shade. I feel like this color has not much pigmentation and you just have to um, really 
build up the product by picking it up a few times and from the pan it looks like a light brown um, color but on my lids it just look like a beige color okay so to brighten up the lids i'm going to use escape from the palette so the pigmentation of this is crazy and i hope it works really well on my lids so i'm going to pack this oh okay so it's really pigmented so i'm going to pack this carefully all over my lid so i'm using this um, brush to blend the color the great thing about this product is it doesn't have a lot of fallout like other glittery shadows are so it's a good thing to add more colors i'm going to take rays rays and add it on my entire lid as well I'm focusing this product on my lash line because I want to create that gradient effect now I'm going to take the darkest shade in this palette which is called Malibu and I'm going to put this on the outer tips of my eyes to intensify the eye look I'm going to apply Malibu on the lower lash line as well Using a smaller and denser brush I'm going to take Treasure from the palette and pop it oh my gosh shut up and pop it onto the inner corners of my eyes I really want my inner corners to brighten up so I have to go back to the same color again a few times to get the pigment that I want okay so I'm just going to lift the eyes like that um, and now I'm going to take this in twinkle volume 3 lighting palette and this is supposed to be like highlighting palette it consists of four shades and i'm going to highlight my face with daylight and also skylight i'm going to try to highlight um, with my fingers i'm going to use daylight first on my nose tip Ooh. Ooh, okay wow so as you can see, it has really really great pigments and it is really really shiny and my highlight is on point and I'm going to highlight um, my cheekbones using Skylight Okay, this is the pigment that I'm loving and dying for I'm going to take the Tarte um, Amazon and Clay 12 hour blush in Party and pop this on my cheeks Really really love that blush And it lasts freaking long so it's one of my favorite blush And now I'm going to curl my lashes and apply mascara And Tarte sent me this huge box of lipsticks and I believe we have all the freaking shades here and the lipsticks are just so gorgeous they consist of a lot of nude shades so I'm going to pick one that suits my look today this is like a brownish shade but oh, this is like a rosy pink shade that matches with my shirt okay so I'm going to use this shade called cruising Okay, so last but not least, I'm going to set my makeup with the 4-in-1 setting mist by Tarte I'm going to spray this um, all over my face Okay, so now I'm done with the makeup and I'm going to give my final thoughts about the product So first, let us talk about the hydrating boost um, I feel like this moisturizer is really really lightweight and it's definitely not the kind of 
moisturizer that you feel very heavy on your skin and it glides on very smoothly on your skin and gets absorbed into your skin really quickly um, so I definitely like this product a lot and next I'm going to talk about a foundation um, personally I feel like this foundation is not really a full coverage foundation but it just provides a very minimal coverage and it gives your skin a smooth and radiant finish if you're looking for a matte foundation this might not be your choice and also i don't think that it really covers my redness as well as my um, dark circles so i use the shape tape concealer to do the job moving on to the radiance drops i feel like this radiance drops really give you the kind of glow that you are craving for um, i think you can apply this before makeup or above your foundation or you can even mix it with your foundation um, and customize the glow that you want if you want more glow you can just apply a few more pumps and mix it with your foundation and you have this glowy skin and so to this palette i feel like there are certainly some shades which do not have a lot of pigments but there are some shades that are really really pretty as well but the shade tiki is not really um, my favorite among all but so far i think that these eyeshadows do not have any fallouts which is great as for the color splash hydrating lipsticks they are really really hydrating and creamy this range has a lot of nudish and mauvey pink shades that you really really enjoy using so i really recommend you to buy this um, lipsticks because they are just freaking gorgeous and if you guys want to see a lipstick swatch video be sure to like this video and comment and let me know so yes this is my final review of the Tarte Rainforest of the Sea collection they are available in Sephora Malaysia already so be sure to get your hands on these products before they run out of stock I hope you guys enjoy watching this video I will see you in my next one bye